So now we've seen how you can input specific values, let's say you want to find out the mean. So let's say you want the mean mode and median of kind of given columns and then you can use them to replace the empty entries. So the way that we'll do that is quite simply we'll say we'll assign our mean to be df2, so our data frame 2. Let's say we want to find the, let's say car, let's say we want to find the mean of the car entry, we'll say dot mean and let's say we'll print this mean value here. Run it. Okay, so there we go, we have that the mean of the car entry here is 76. So let's say we want to replace this value now with our new mean. So let's just copy this and I will change this to cars and we're going to fill this with our mean and then we'll run it. So hopefully cars will now be filled with this new mean value which may change. Do we have 76? 76. Awesome, there we go, we've got 76. And the trucks are still the same, 130. Amazing. So that's how you do the mean. So I'll just put here mean and replacing the entries with this mean value. Now let's do the mode. Now the mode is somewhat similar, so we'll say mode is df2, let's say we want cars, we'll say dot mode, but the final thing that we need to add is just a little index in here, so zero, uh, and this just means that it, instead of, ju this just means that it will return a given value, it won't return something that's not an integer. So if I print the mode for cars, and we'll run this, see what happens. Okay, 50, so it says the mode is 50, cool, and now we can do the median, and the median, very similar, median, df2, let's do cars again, we'll say dot median, open brackets, and we'll print the median, okay, let's run this, there we go, 76, there we go, 76, awesome, that is so cool, so we have figured out how to do the mean, mode, and median in pandas which is so cool and then i'll just show you finally we can simply re we can simply replace uh, an index by doing the following so we'll take the data frame df2 we'll say lock we will then say okay let's say we want row six and we want it for our cars we can say well let's let that equal to let's say we want that to be 4,000. Very random, but let's say we want it to be 4,000. Now if I was to print DF2 and I run this, notice that element 6 on cars has 4,000 in it. So this is very handy, this just allows you to say, okay, maybe if you know that there's one empty entry in your data and you know exactly where it is, you can replace it with any value you want instead of having to remove the entire row or you know do a whole range of different things. This is just a really handy way of taking one index, one specific entry, and replacing it with a value that you want. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.